Hello friends, this video on decimals part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, if addition has become clear to you, then subtraction is not a tough job at all. So let us quickly see how do we subtract decimal numbers. So we write the smaller number under the bigger number. So let's take an example. So let's say that you have to subtract 10.05 from 35.25 so what we do from the bigger number from which you are subtracting the smaller number so you write that number on the top so this is the bigger number in this case so you write it on the top and you write the smaller number below it again in the same fashion such that the decimal points lie exactly below each other and then you subtract column wise so again you start subtracting from the right hand side so 5 minus 5 is 0 2 minus 0 is 2 5 minus 0 is 5, 3 minus 1 is 2. So the difference between these two decimal numbers would be 25.20. Let's take one more example. Let's say you have a decimal number 101.62 and the other number is 9.013. So you have to subtract 9.013 from 101.62. So let's write the bigger number on the top and the smaller number below. So first write the decimal point. So before decimal point you have 9, after decimal point you have 0, 1, 3. So here this is 0, here also these are zeros. So let's subtract. So what is this? Here it is 0 and here it is 3. So on the top you have a smaller number. So what we do? Like, like the normal subtraction. So we borrow 1 from here. So we borrow 1 from here. So it becomes 10. So 10 minus 3 is 7. Right now you return that one again here so that one gets added to this one so it becomes two so two minus two is zero six minus zero is six now here again you have one on the top which is smaller than nine so again we borrow one from here so one and one becomes eleven so eleven minus nine is two you give back that one so this becomes one now this is zero so again you borrow one so this becomes 10 and this is 1. So 10 minus 1 becomes 9. Again, you give back that 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is 9, 2 and decimal point lies below decimal point. So this is 92.607. Now this borrowing concept of subtraction, I think you would have learned this in your junior classes when you have learned how to subtract two numbers. So this is how normal subtraction is done. So whenever you have a smaller number on the smaller digit on the top, you borrow one from the previous number like here it was zero. So you borrowed one from here and then you again give it back. Right. So that is how you subtract decimal numbers. So I hope that addition and subtraction of decimal numbers are clear to you. So now. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.